Hello there, Trent Mawai here, and I got yet another Legends of Runeterio for guys today. Today, I finally did it. I built a Jin deck that's not with any, and it's not full on aggro in a list I like to call as Lotus Control because it features a full set of Death Lotus, a deck also named Virtuous Conquest, as we are combining Jin and Swain with Noxus still, naturally, as I feel that is the best region for Jin as of now. To keep, like, I wanna talk a little bit about this champion first, like why I've had issues building with Jin. Like if you look at Jin's pool, take away Noxus, right? The early game is very restricted right now in regards to uh, units with skills. And the pool is also like very geared towards an aggressive deck that uses the stuns offensively alongside the skills that deal damage, right? Going outside of this is generally, you know, a lot of times you end up with a bit of an awkward situation when deck building because you're, you're adding some skill units here and there, but it doesn't really weigh enough to justify playing Jin instead of like a second region for, for most deck ideas that you come up with. Uh, unlike Bard, who is really effective at being a splash onto a Legion deck, Jin actually benefits more from nuanced interactions. And right now there's just not enough in the pool. With time, Jin will get better, without a doubt. As we get more units with skills, he will improve. I tweeted the other day, like, how Jin was disappointing, right? I, I was, uh, yeah, I was just a little bit sad because I've been looking to this, I've been looking forward to this champion ever since I got into Team Fight Tactics. Like, Jin automatically became one of my favorite champions in Runeterra. So I was extremely excited for him. But the fact that I, I can't really play him outside of an full on aggro deck, which is like my least favorite archetype or play style in, in card games, was, was sad to me, right? But that doesn't mean that there's not huge potential in the future for Jin. And I've had a lot of success with this list, which is a more controlly, like slow burn version of, uh, you know, a Jin deck. And I'm going to share with you guys and tell you what's going on here. So, uh, yeah, even though, like, basically TLDR, Jin is not up to its potential right now. But in the future, we could see a lot more variety from this champion. And he's still extremely interesting. And we just got to be patient in that regard. So this is a, like I said, slow burn, sort of like control deck that's running a full set of Death Lotus alongside Disintegrate. We're building around the Raven Bloom Conservatory. That's really the way to go if you're not going full on face with Jin, because we work for that late game to bulk that can enable a crazy Riptide Rex. But we also got amazing synergy with Swain, Jane's, Jane's, <laughs> Swain and Jane's daughter, Jane. <laughs> Jade, aka Jed, uh, hit the virtuoso ability, uh, aka the Lotus Trap, pings the Nexus, which allows us to e stun even another unit with Swain on the board. Uh, a unit that synergizes extremely well with both of these champions is the Mana Soul Student. Perhaps one of the key, the key follower really from this deck, as the Mana Soul Student will allow us to flip over Raven Blue Conservatory much quicker and also work for a Jin level up while slowly working towards Swain's level up. And once we have a Swain leveled up, Mana Soul Student and Jin just like stun the entire opposing board. It's absolutely nutty. Also, very easy to enable Riptide Rex with this guy, and because we're playing Riptide Rex, we are running a full set of Blades Edge. But Death Lotus is really sneaky. It helps us level up Swain, first of all. It gives us a bit of a control tool that otherwise we wouldn't have by going Mono Noxus, and it works really well with Disintegrate, and a lot of people don't expect it. Like, I've popped, like, <laughs> Frost Guard Thralls with it. it. It's just things of the combination. It's just really neat. And it allows you to also answer aggressive starts as well. We have Solaris Sunhawk as our two drop of choice alongside House Spider for the stun effect, alongside a, a very solid 2-3 body for two mana. We got Doom Beast to give us a little bit of extra, you know, healing and also to work with the late game to bulk to start draining even stronger at the opponent. As like I said, we are still technically a burn deck, just a slower one at that. We control the board and then we work for our late game burn. We need triple copy of Whispered Words because otherwise this deck really runs out of gas. Our curve is actually deceptively low. So we want to make sure that we can refuel because we're not an all-in face deck. 
And that's essentially the decklist right there, man. It's really fun. It's especially when you get Jin on the board and you start popping off and start chaining all these stuns and everything with a Mana Soul student and getting that Riptide Rex later on. It's just, it's the tits, man. I, I've had an absolute blast with this deck. And it felt good to play this champion again because I only showcased it in the uh, the Jostle deck at the beginning. And I didn't really want to upload, you know, the, uh, the face deck because I think all of you guys are very well aware with it at this point. And I think there are more interesting routes to consider. And I'm excited for upcoming skill units that will be released, preferably low curve, so that we can, uh, you know, have a little bit of variety with this very, very interesting champion. And that's where I'm going to stop rambling. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for daily Legends of Runeterra content. Have a soul day. Enjoy the games. I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, here we go. Let's make sure I'm recording. Okay, so we're facing Fizz. I mean, the good thing is, uh, Death Lotus could be really good against Fizz, actually. I like the Mana Soul Student. I think I'm willing to away the Doom Beast for now. Because I, I do want to prioritize the Mana Soul Student because it helps me level up Jin earlier. And, and Swain as well. Let's draw there as well. I hope that was mod. Your boy Rex. Right. How is Death Lotus going to be good here, honestly? We have to take the hit, though. We have to. We have to preserve this for Fizz, I think. Whoa! I can see the magic! It's kind of tripping. When will I find peace? I don't know, girl. Don't care. Oof, we got some good setup here. An open attack would kind of hurt, but if that's the case, then so be it. In that case, I will go for a Death Lotus. Because it will significantly reduce the damage, and I'll be able to, to Ravenous Flock here. Fizz is always the, the problem, right? But they have to draw into Fizz. I'm gonna go for the Ravenous Flock because if they don't set up a blocker here, then I get to open attack. And if they develop a, a blocker with Riven, I can play the uh, Sunhawk. I have to apply pressure. Let's see what they do. This doesn't target, which is really important. So they, they have to buff Riven above, uh, yeah, which means that we we live here. Now here's the question. I should probably play Jin because Jin allows me to stun both here.
<laughs> oh my god, that was beautiful. Oh, and then I wipe him out on attack and kill him at the same time. Oh. It's your boy, Rico Rex. All right. We got the Raven Bloom Conservatory. Uh, do we need the Death? I mean, Death Lotus could be pretty good here. I think I'm only gonna waste swing for now, honestly. Try to find a bit of an earlier curve. Just to make sure that I don't run out of gas against them. Like, swing is neat, but... In this deck, I feel like uh, I need to increase my options. We got the Raven Bloom here. We faced this deck in yesterday's video. I'm gonna take the hit now. I got these Death Lotus that I can chain potentially. And right now, we're just gonna draw. Okay, maybe I got ahead of myself there. Maybe I should have played the Death Lotus. If I ping you and then I play you, maybe I take the damage this round and I just try to do that. And if they two chain that, then I just I just ping with Blaze Edge. Yeah. Jin, even if he does get that. Sand and trouble far as the eye can see. The curtain rises. A loaded weapon that whispers for us to act. Stun here. Violence, chaos, and destruction. Put them down. We're gonna block like this. We're gonna keep our, our Death Lotus. I'm gonna keep this alive just because. Yeah. 
We're gonna Revenous Flock first. And then we're at Double Doom Beast. We knock that out. Spread out with a spider. Come on, give me something good here. What if they have another right of negation? What if they have another right of negation? Did I top take something to stop this? Out here, you're moving or you're dead. Ah, GG. <laughs> GG. I can't play this because I, I died of that. Good game. Good game. They got us. We, we fought hard, but just didn't quite get the tools. I had some more Bard, but this time with Ari. I don't think I've seen it with Ari ever. That seems kind of kind of productive, right? Because you're recalling stuff. But I mean, if you're buffing stuff in the hand, like I guess you recall the stuff that's not buffed. <laughs> but Ari over Zed is definitely interesting. Uh, I like the Death Lotus. It could be really good. Card draw is always important. But I'm going to moving away these two, including the House Spider, because we're going to see some elusives here. So I'd rather find... My conservatory stuns. Okay. Fading, fading, girl. I could death hand this, to be honest, but. I'm greedy. I'm greedy and I want to do that with uh, Maso Student Jin. Nice. What would you wish to learn? I'm a greedy bastard. <laughs> I'm so greedy. Everyone here is so cool. Is the room 
I want to play Jim. Suffering is the beating heart of drama. Said you're new in here. Because now Jin allows us to stun. We can double stun potentially. They can open attack here. It's not the biggest of issues, honestly. I have prepared something very special. <laughs> I can see it too. <laughs> Don't recall my dude. I gotta think how this is gonna work, right? Like, first of all, can we survive this attack? I, I, I do believe we can. But not without losing some of our dudes first, so let's, let's just... We still have the ability to go into more, so let's just uh, pass here. So, just to be last, so going for a ravenous block here, stuns those two. Let's get it! I'm gonna preserve this ravenous flock because I can target next round, I can play you, and I can just pretty much lethal them with this. That's hilarious. <laughs> Triple student, baby! Disintegrate there. Whirl it up! We set it up, baby.
<laughs> oh my god, dude. Yep, definitely happy I, I went triple meta. So student on this game. <laughs> oh my god, that was beautiful. All right, this matchup will be interesting. I think this is like the the newer version of of Go Hard, like the refined version, right? The boring version because it doesn't have Lord Broadmain. Crappy time. We are always gonna keep Jin. I like the House Spider here as well. Blade's Edge and and uh, Death Lotus. I'm not sure how necessary these are. And quite frankly, yeah, I don't even know how necessary House Spider is because this deck can apply some pressure, but it's mostly a reactive deck. So I'd rather hard mulligan for the. The Ribbon Bloom Conservatory, really. Which they do fine. I mean, I'm never mad at seeing a house spider. Unless it's actually in my house. Yeah. Then, then I'm then I'm mad. I know what lurks in the shadows. They know what's up. We could use. Everyone here is so cool. All right, they're going to level up the lease. We can handle that. Nest. They have triple? That'd be kind of crazy if they did. I didn't think so. They have the Raven Bloom though, that really sucks for us. Now that Scorched Earth is as good as gone there. I have prepared something very special. Not sure why they're not blocking with that. They're gonna mistake there. We get to kill Annie with Jin. Clear their board. And now we would like some card draw as well. We do have a triple whispering words in our deck. That'd be nice. That'd be great. Shit, dude.
We get our own Tavok here. We don't need to play Jin. They have a pack your backs, right? They, they, they have to have it at this point, so we gotta play around that. We have the Doom Beast here. Defensively here. We're really, really close. Nice. More card draw. That's why we play Triple Whispered Words, man. Because we don't want to run out of gas ever. But they got healing. It's important to know. They got healing. I should have blocked her actually. But now. Empire above all. I get to play Swain. For the menu. Because if they resort to pack your bags here, I can drop Jin. Exactly. Some death lotus, that would have been neat before. Another whispered word, so they're, they're, they're not running out of gas at this point. However, we are. We are at war. The open attack threatens lethal on its own, which demands an answer from them. Drop that whispered words. They get a vengeance now. Because now they think they got that, but we got the Death Lotus, baby. We got the Death Lotus, which counters their open attack. Exactly. Like they, I, I knew they wouldn't be able to help themselves. Like they're like, how do they deal with that? But we're going with the second Tabok. And the second Tabok sets up lethal. Blade's Edge now to try and lethal, forcing something else out of them. Because they must have a lot of pack your bags in hand at this point. Before they get the extra drain from this, they're forced to draw. But again, all these go hards are gonna bite them. And we got them! And we got them, baby! Let's go! Let's go! Patience is a virtue, bitch! Oh, he's, he's not on the board, but Jin won. Here we go again. A lot of rematches lately, huh? Uh, we're gonna go ahead and keep the... Mm, I don't think we need House Spider to be... I mean, it, it could be useful. Don't get me wrong, yeah. I really like the Death Lotus, though. I'm gonna do this, actually. Like, House Spider is nice, but I'm first getting an elusive deck, so I, I think it's more important for us to go with our game plan. It's even actually rip type Rex for once, man. Be nice. They have bird. They always seem to have bird. Let's droplet. 
Man, remember when Drop Blade had a tune? Oh, God. Alright, so now we carry over the spell mana. We don't do anything. We preserve our Solar Sun Hawk. You know what? I'm not gonna be that greedy. I'm gonna go ahead and deal with this. So otherwise, he's just gonna start buffing stuff. I'll see all this world has to offer. Actually, works out pretty well. I have to flock here, though. Even though we have the mana, the mana soul student, we're not really getting value out of it, unfortunately. We, we gotta, we gotta go with that. I could play Jin to attack with Jin, but I'm gonna be patient with him. I'm gonna do this instead. I'm gonna open attack. Yeah, I'm gonna start setting up my students. I can see the magic. Because, uh, you know, we can see the magic. We saw the magic that last game, so... I'm in it to see it again. The order rewards its faithful. There's magic, and then there's me. Alright, well, we are going... I mean, we have a block into you, so... I really want to get rid of you. Lose the buff on that though. Stay safe. They keep I'll drawing, alright. We need something here though. We need, we need some spells. Come on, we need something good. Come on. Oh damn, dude. We may have to flock our own unit just because of this. Fear the power. We may have to flock our own unit. Okay, so what happens if we block here? We stun three units, we take away a lot of their power. Otherwise, what happens? Otherwise, what happens? Can we live? Because I think it's worth it if we live, because then we can, we can charge up the, uh, the Riptide Rex, right? Because otherwise, we don't have a guarantee that we'll be able to trigger it.
I could have gone for this. It's, it's, if, I, if I knew I had a Blaze Edge top deck, man, I would have changed it. But we gotta go with this. And we gotta fire away, man. We gotta fire away like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> homecoming? If you're homecoming, don't be greedy if you're homecoming. Oh my god, you're so greedy. You're so greedy. No way! What? What? Oh, it's it's completely oh it's completely clogged up. Oh no! Now I hunt. Oh, he wasn't greedy. Wait, what? Wait, what? Why didn't he recall? Wait, what? What just happened here? Nani? I know I couldn't reply with Blade's Edge because the stack was actually complete. I get that. But why didn't this guy recall? What, why didn't, what didn't my Swain recall? There. My conflicts end only one way. Ooh. This shelf will control? Well, we got the Raven Blue Servitory, even though they could easily have four turns. In four turns, you will die. They could have the uh, the tell the the thing the telstones into aftershock, but I'm gonna risk that. I like the whispered words already. Mom spaghetti. I, I want to have that card draw and make sure that I, I'm able to like keep going this game. Okay, maybe that's too much. Whatever. All part of the plan. Got the death lotus for any sort of aggression. All right. Ooh. I'm gonna go for card draw. You sure you wanna play anything? I'm making use of my mana. I would have burned one mana there. I may as well just get my card draw in. Mm. Nothing's more exciting than an unsolved mystery. We'll crack this yet. Oh, we get them to tap out a little bit, which is nice. Now we're gonna play some mind games on him, though. I'm gonna pass. Because, you know, make him think Arachnoid Sentry into Ravenous Flock, so they don't want to play their victor. Another clue. Am I okay with this? We have healing. Okay, I was really expecting Victor there. But I guess that's not the case. Frank, bro. Fear the power. I want to play Swain just to have a ravenous flock so I can deal with a. Doesn't respect my Death Lotus. 
Try make it burn all that mana. Oh shit. Well fuck. I will showcase the beauty of tragedy. Very intimidating, but I feel I feel rather safe with these uh, with these death lotus. <laughs> they don't like them. I'm attack with the old one. They played that many like actual s skills or spells. It's been mostly like fast speed, like burst speed shit, right? A lot of death lotus at this point. I think they leveled up Ezreal though.
Yes! Yes! Oh, we got through! I can't believe we got through! Well, that's our whispered words then! Aye! <laughs> Let's go! Let's go, baby! Fire away! Oh, we did it! There is here, waiting. Oh, tell me about it! Ain't that the most beautiful shit? Oh! Oh! Perfection! Ugh. I don't know why we're angry, but we are! <laughs> Let's go, baby! Fire away! <laughs> oh, this game was ridiculous, dude! Oh, booyah! Oh! For Noxus! <laughs> Death Lotus MVP! Secret MVP! <laughs> yeah!